What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. Today we're taking a look at AC Milan and doing a bit of a breakdown. We are going to be kicking off with Liao and then moving on to the rest of the players here, right? So again, this is, as I said before in the last video, a lot about perspective. You know, is there players in this pack that are definitely not worth it? In my opinion, yes. I mean, Aragui is not great. Um, I don't think that the centre back here is that good either. Calabria is a fairly decent right back, but he's not going to change your world, right? These two boys are pretty decent, uh, Catalair and uh, Kittler and Liao. Um, but yeah, I definitely think that there are some really good players within these packs. But as I've always said, lads, standard versions. Make sure and check those out as well. It depends on when you've downloaded this game and when you what kind of squad you have. Now, the only thing that saves Aragui's card here is the fact that he's got super sub and first time shot, which is pretty decent for a center forward that is, you know, 78 overall. Um, I don't really like the fact that he, he doesn't have massive acceleration, which means you're going to have to pump in a lot into it. And his finishing is not going to go over 80 if you do that, if you pump in a lot, as you can see here. So, I mean, we can kind of mess around here with the shooting and that, but you're not going to get the shooting. Even if you max out the shooting with 15 levels, you're only going to get it to 85 overall, and then your acceleration is going to be 78. So, yeah, I mean, I definitely don't think this guy is going to be able to lead the line for you. Like, 85 acceleration and 82 finishing is not enough for a center forward, especially with the fact that there's more um, accomplished players or more complete players that you can build your squad around definitely right and even when you look at his standard card he's got 37 levels compared to the 29 so they're very similar cards apart from the team play style and apart from maybe one or two little bits and uh, pieces um with his stats right but you know moving on from that we do have care as well who's a center back this guy is pretty decent um but i don't think again he's going to change the dial for you too much he's not going to like tip the scales in your favor if you have him at the back he's very slow he does have a lot of good player skills as you can imagine there and unwavering form which is quite decent but these kind of center backs are a dime a dozen lads genuinely so i genuinely think that this guy um is going to be kind of yeah i don't think he's that good um because you know you can get a defender such as Varane, who's going to have the same or similar defensive stats and he's also going to have 70 acceleration, which I know acceleration isn't massively important for center backs now. But, you know, why choose one when you can have the other? That would be the way I'd look at it. You know, you can have a center back with all of these defensive stats, with this height, with header, physical contact, and the rest of the player skills that you see here. But, you know, you can just add 75 acceleration instead of 57. So it does make a little bit of a difference there um but yeah i like look they're they're adding a few different players i suppose you know they have to put some of the lesser uh players in with the beastly players that you're going to be spinning for you know you're not going to get liao on the first spin and if you do you could just you can just stop spinning um we also have uh calabria this guy is a calabria or calabria i think it's calabria this guy is a very solid defensively um sound right back very good player i've actually played it in before my xbox profile unwavering form he doesn't have blocker that's not a huge huge issue for this card in my opinion but he does go fairly high with the tackling the defensive engagement and he still has acceleration and a bit of dribbling and passing about him so if you are going defensively that is one route that you could go of course you could also cap this at 85 as well with the tackling and put nine into it and then depending on your play style you could get a 90 acceleration if you want a really offensive um center or not 90 acceleration sorry that's what i was just saying there's 88 acceleration at that but you can put boost up and get 80 ball control if you wanted to do that um that would mean that you'd have a very offensive base one so you know pick your poison whichever you want to choose um is he going to replace most of my defense my right backs probably not i mean i'm fairly set with right backs but then again if you are only playing the game recently or you've only downloaded it as i said in my last video there is a continuous ever ending never ending uh ever changing kind of like you know fan downloading this to test out the game because it is free to play people are just going to download it and spin with the free players that they get maybe play it for a month and check out the game and see what it is so you know these players are probably kind of like instant gratification that you can just sign a really high ranked player high rated player and go online and not get spanked around the place so um that's kind of why you know these are being released so heavily and obviously being pushed before eFootball 2024 so i do like that card but again is he going to be somebody that really kind of changes everything for your fortunes of your club? Probably not. I mean, let's be honest. Like, he's 
There's a lot of good right backs there. I would say Wan Bissaka is probably the best defensive right back that they've released in a long time. Um, if you've missed out on previous cards of him or you don't have a standard card and you spin him and you get him on a free or whatever. Um, so that's something to keep in mind as well. We also have the Ketelaer here. This guy, I'm kind of intrigued with him. He was on one of my hidden gem series before. Um, he's a very, very solid player. You can see his rating there has kind of gone up a good bit. One touch pass, double touch, true passing. That's all you need for an AMF. He doesn't have pace. That's the biggest thing with this card. So you knew, you do need to train up other stuff and kind of ignore pace. I wouldn't really usually say that because of the offensive awareness. But he actually gets fairly nice offensive awareness straight off because his offensive awareness is like five points ahead of his acceleration. His balance is quite low though as well because he is a tall attacking midfielder. Um, so he's kind of in that mold of you, you're not going to be kind of dribbling a lot with him. I would kind of turn him in more into a passer um i know you can have dribbling into the 90s which we see here um, and that would be nice but i would probably because i'm not going to be running with him as much i would probably boost that into passing to get you know 80 um or what did i do there i put more into dribbling sorry lads i would probably boost that up to get 88 passing there um which would be quite decent um and then i would probably take two from this and probably put two more in to get 90 low pass you're still going to have the speed the dribbling everything that you could possibly want and the shooting as well which is nice with 80 curl and with the player skills it is pretty decent whole player as well is a very very decent uh play style probably the best as an amf instead of a creative playmaker or a classic number 10 or whatever whole player is my favorite to use for the positions that they take up they play that you know between both boxes very nicely um so yeah that is a nice a nice little player to have as well i mean if you don't have the other version of him there was a previous release version of him and it's an identical card lads i mean look as i've said and i keep saying it you know depending on when you've joined this game or when you've started playing this game um if you're a long time player of it a lot of these cards will be rehashed they'll be like oh recycle content whatever but if you've never had the chance to spin for these you know packs before um these cards do attract new players to download the game all the time you know it's the same um when we have a look at liao here i mean is a 97 rated rafael liao especially you know with the hype of them being into the champions league you know it's going to attract a lot of eyes it's going to get a lot of stuff in especially the fact that liao is probably one of the best cards that they've ever released and this version of him is an insane version of him because it's very similar to the Portuguese pack that they released and there's been, and the AC Milan pack that they released of him, right? This guy's got extra levels, um, which is probably one of the best reasons that they've released him again. He's just got a very uh, nice... Now, Roman Flank is a nice play style, but I would have preferred maybe if he was prolific winger for playing him as a left mid uh, or a left wing. But I think the only place to play this guy, lads, is either a cut in and shoot left winger or else through the middle. You're not going to get... A player as similar to Romario as this in my opinion right he outperforms Romario in a lot of stuff he's taller he's good in the air as well even though he doesn't have much jumper header he does have a, a lot of um a lot of animations that are able to get him up in the air if you do not have Romario and you're waiting to spin for him I definitely think Liao is one of the best and as we said he goes to 94 overall as a left midfielder but he goes to like a 99 as a left winger with these stats with the way that we've trained him up right 11 into dribbling 10 into dexterity 95 dribbling 95 acceleration 90 balance 88 finishing I mean that's just insane puts him on level with kind of Mbappe Romario Torres Eto'o without obviously Torres doesn't have the blister and pace but even other versions of him here where you had it right you can see that this card the AC Milan uh, pack club pack that they released he's got only he's got 29 levels to go but um he's got 29 levels to go and better speed but worse everything else right then you have the Portuguese pack that has got six plus in speed but he's got worse everything else as well so it, it's kind of look as I said lads there's a lot of these cards that are very similar to previous cards that they've released you know so if you have other versions of these cards you know you are basically just buying a shiny card you know what i mean if you are playing the game these guys are not going to in my opinion they're not going to absolutely um you know change change your life if you're not used to playing with these cards right now i see that he is a 97 overall there the way we've been trained is slightly different because we've kind of neglected passing um which you do need to have if you are going to be uh training up you know you need to have passing and lower body if you are going to be training him up he goes to 96 97 there but i definitely think to use this guy as a center forward as a left winger let me know if you want a training guide on him lads but that is it for the ac milan pack let me know your thoughts on these are you going to spin or skip or are you just going to avoid completely um i'll be back quite soon and yeah we'll talk to you in a bit